Hello, welcome back to the Nobleman Piper. I'm John. And we're going to kick off a series, a brand new series for the channel where we're going to be looking at some vintage tinderbox catalogs. Now, for those of you who don't know, the tinderbox was a chain store uh, where you could buy tobacco, you could buy pipe cigars. Uh, I, I want to say men's accessories, little men's gifts. Um, they were quite the staple at one point in time, not so much anymore. But I have a lot of very good fond memories of uh, of going in the tinderbox as a kid. That's where my dad got his pipes at. It's where he had his pipes repaired at i can i can still almost remember the smell of a lot of key in the store and that's back when you could actually smoke in the shopping malls but i was able to come across a box of catalogs and other goodies from the tinder box at the 2019 st louis pipe show my friend lowell was selling them and i picked them up and I've looked through these and I've I've really found them quite interesting and I really wanted to share these vintage catalogs with you guys. Um, I figure a lot of these have probably been in the landfill for a very very long time, so it's uh, it's kind of interesting to to see pristine or near pristine catalogs from the the years you know over the years and, and just kind of see what was available then and how much it cost so without further ado you know today's president's day 2019 so i said why not start with the 1976 tinderbox catalog and this is something you don't see a lot of anymore it's uh it's got an embossed cover on it so let's 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 go ahead and take a look through here. Looks like we got some cigars, and uh, let's see here: Coronas Imperialis, box of twenty-five, thirty-one twenty-five. Let's see here, what else do we have? I'm not much of a cigar smoker, guys. I apologize. So really, it might not. It doesn't really mean much to me, but it might to you. So there's the various cigars they have here on this page, and uh, you know you're not you're not getting cigars at this price these days. So it's kind of kind of interesting to to see this as cigar prices may vary due to local and state tobacco taxes so kind of gives you a general idea of exactly uh how much they cost we'll see your chairton so uh yeah 55 and 50 dollars look at those pies beautiful And uh, I, I can tell you that I've, I've found by looking through these catalogs that they sold a lot of things that I never even knew they sold. So um, those of you from the, the time era, like I said, this is 1976. Those of you who went in the store, you know, you may have knew what they carried, but uh, obviously I wasn't around then. So it's real interesting to take a look at... Uh, it what was available then <laughs> so those are some beautiful pipes let's see here what else do we have well ben wades you know i like ben wades but i don't have any in my collection i don't know why i don't but you know it you look at the you look at the the price in 1970, you know, you look at the price today in this catalog, and you're like, oh, that's pretty reasonable, but man, that was, that was quite a bit of money back then, you know, $60 for a pipe. Um, wow, well, these are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous pipes. I actually almost kind of like this one. I wouldn't mind having one like that, but, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll 
we'll run into something at a show one day similar to it or exactly like it. Is there what else we got? Kamoys. So, try to pan out here. Uh, it's awful hard to video this here at the kitchen table, but this seemed to work out a lot better. I like that guy. I like that guy a lot. And, uh, yeah, prices seemed reasonable for the era. So what we got on this page? <clears throat> GBD. Don't own any GBDs. I like the 76. That's a nice pipe. I think if I go back in time, I'd probably pick one of them guys up. And they show the... Uh, I guess I guess GBD had uh, had their name put on lighters, so forty and thirty seven fifty respectively. Lorenzo pipes. Uh, I'm not sure about those. I've never heard of them. Um, I've never owned one. You guys might have some insight on them, but, uh, boy, let her be. I like that one. That one looks interesting to me. I always like the square shanks. Always like the square shanks the best. Let's see here. That was $27.50 in 1976. Let's see here. Got some Peterson pipes. Twenty-eight fifty, twenty-eight fifty for a system pipe. Can you believe it? Nineteen seventy-six, twenty-eight fifty or twenty-five fifty for a smooth. Uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. You look at the sandblast they show here, and uh, you know, I. I personally have not ran across a modern Peterson system pipe that had that kind of finish on it. That's kind of neat. Of course, they show them with the P-Lips. <clears throat> now we're getting into the Dunhill stuff. And, of course, Dunhill, you know, uh, was, was more than pipes. They, they also had lines of of accessories you could you could buy for your your everyday use you know for example you get a wallet you know pipe tobacco pouch ashtray I mean, they had all sorts of neat stuff let's see here you get the you get the pipe book for fifteen dollars back then Pipe stand with uh, with a tobacco jar. And my dad has one similar to that, but I'm sure it's not a Dunhill. Let's see here. That is a, that, that's a sharp looking. That's a sharp looking ashtray right there. I like that. <clears throat> Thirteen dollars. Well, that was a Parker. Parker of London. Walnut smokers furniture. That that that's a uh, that's a sharp looking ashtray. I like those. <clears throat> and more cigars. We got some Dunhill Dunhill cigars. Let's see here. Twenty two fifty box of twenty five. Twenty seven fifty box twenty five. Yeah, you see it, folks. You're you're not getting them that cheap anymore. Let's see here. Daniel Ashtray. Lead crystal. Twenty nine fifty. Let's see here. We got some different different pipes. Larson. Joby. 
Carl Eric. I I don't know what that's supposed to be. I, I don't know if that's a tinderbox uh, version of an Eric Nording or or exactly well, maybe somebody else knows, but uh, well, it's a sharp looking pipe. You know, I I really like these free hands but I just I don't have one in my collection I probably ought to get one uh, you don't see too many with this this kind of rustication rusticated finish on them anymore at least I haven't seen one let's see here what we got on the next page yeah we got some different different pipes see here and they all seem reasonably priced for the for the time frame pioneer calabash so right there calabash pipe large was thirty dollars yeah I wish I was around then <laughs> I would have picked one of them up for thirty dollars yeah Thirty dollars a piece. Uh, how, how many you got? <clears throat> you know. Then on top of that, South African gourd. It's not. It's not like the modern interpretation where they've they've used some sort of hardwood. I mean, that's the real deal. Thirty dollars right there. Can you believe it? I never quite understood the the ceramic pipes. I'd be interested in how they smoke, but I bet to say I don't really foresee myself ever buying one. Now, yeah, see, so we got uh, we got some Stanwell pipes here. Stanwell is the name we all know, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, they they kind of they kind of varied in price. Stanwell anniversary mat, forty dollars. But uh, you go up here to, to letter A, which is the Royal Danish, and it's seventeen fifty. So the one that was the one that was forties, this guy right here. And, uh, you know, forty to seventeen fifty. That's not too bad. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see here. Hard for me to read that. Caminetto. Never heard of him. Uh, very interesting rustication. It almost looks almost looks like a sandblast. I, I guess I could read this, but boy, it's just awful hard for me to read. Now the fumed bowl's kind of cool. I'm starting to see that done on some uh, Meerschaum pipes now, where they've colored the top, namely the uh, Lee Van Cleef replica pipe you can get if you so choose. Uh, Lestrada Tempo. Oh, I like that. Yeah, give me a new Paul. I'll I'll take one of those any day. Yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how you know you don't you don't really see this type of I I want to call it like engraving on a pipe anymore. It almost yeah you know, I, I see stuff like that at pipe shows quite a bit, but you just don't see it uh, very often anymore with modern pipes. It's kind of interesting. Uh. Here's Danish freehand, thirty-seven fifty, thirty-five dollars respectively. Sorry, folks, I'm at the table here. I got plenty of junk on the table. Probably ought to get rid of here. Monza. That's some interesting rustication right there. These were fifteen-dollar pipes. Let's see here. Tinderbox Lara, $30 each. 
you know, I don't know if my dad had one of these or not, but I, I almost think that he had something similar to it. Uh, Tinderbox Verona. Well, there's some nice ones, ain't they? Oh, look at that finish. A rustication that's... I don't know. I mean, I don't know if that's wire wheel rusticated, but it's definitely interesting. I like this guy right here. What is that? <laughs> it just says A through F on all of them. Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah, I like it. Would have been somewhere between 30 and 1995 and 1976. Here's some Nording pipes. Boy, an Nording Extra Version was kind of pricey. $65. That would have been... 1975. It had been letter B, so that guy right there... $65, 1976. But, uh, the Snorting S, yes, this is kind of nice. I like that pipe. Let's see here, the Newcastle. Created for Tinderbox by Kamoy. 1750. Yeah, that bulldog's a, a nice shape. I like that. Uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Here, here's some more uh, tinderbox specials by Kamoy. I like number D. I like D. I like D. I'll, I'll definitely do me a Oompal or something close any day. Man, $15. Can you believe $15? I mean, there's a good possibility that you'll you could probably fetch at least thirty for it at a pipe show if you're trying to sell it today. Man, that's beautiful. Let's see here. The Napoli. Let's see here. Made in Italy, especially for the tender box. Eighteen fifty each. I don't know. I'm not wild about these. Yeah, they're all right. Just I don't know. That's I'm not sure if that's would be a lumberman or a Canadian. I, I'd probably do that one, but uh, I don't know about this rustication. I'm just I'm not feeling it with that. And here we get into the the, the budget pipes. It looks like the tinder box selected Grecian Briar. There's some basic pipes. <clears throat> you know, you want to get Dad a Father's Day gift, you know. You want to get your husband or boyfriend a, a gift. There you go. There's not much to them. I mean, these are simple, simple pipes. They're not Italian briar. Let's see here. Pages stuck together. Well, that's crazy, ain't it? That is really, really crazy. <laughs> by let's see here. This is by uh, Master Pipe Makers in Saint Claude, France. So there you go, some French briars, Meersham lined briar pipes. Twelve fifty each, nineteen seventy six. You can buy some tinderbox butane in nineteen seventy six for a dollar and forty nine cents. There's some more cigars. Box of ten sixteen, box of ten ten, box of ten thirteen fifty. There you go. You can make your own pipe at home. Even got the Meersham kit. Of course, they don't tell you what the prices are on this. Wonder how much that Meersham kit cost. Uh, is it there? Nope. 
Oh boy, I don't know where the where the key is for that. That's neat. Carve your own Meerschaum pipe. Got pipe knives. Uh, some some different cigars. Tinderbox pipe tobacco connoisseur sampler. Blend number two. Uh, blend number two. Special honey Cavendish vintage and philosopher. Four dollars and fifty cents. Let's see here, the tinder box, matured Virginia, dollar fifty a tin. And I don't know, you can get out the the pause button on your on your uh, on your device or on your TV and take a look at these various blends. I've looked through these, most of them, most of them seem to me like uh, they might be. Uh, aromatics, which I'm not really big into. Some of them are interesting. I can tell you that it looks like the the what you're able to get in 1976 is a lot different than what you're able to get now, um, and that would be in a good way. I wasn't real impressed with what the tinder box carries now, but uh, you know some of these things look interesting. And of course, different accessories, pipe rest, ashtray, humidor, cigarette case, you know, pipe tobacco pouches. And my dad had one similar to that. Actually, had one, I think it was this guy right here. Nautical, nope, that's not the right one. Yep, seven dollars and fifty cents, and it's somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I know he had one. Some uh, nice lighters, cigarette case. That's uh, that's that's quite a cigarette case right there. Now uh, I'm guessing that'd be for the ladies to put in their purse. Got got a beer stein here, copper cups. Here. Table lighter. My grandma had one of those. It well, it didn't have anything wrote on it or anything, but uh, table lighter is definitely interesting. For ten dollars, you could have got a Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe on a plaque. In 1976, of course, there were various other little trinkets. Now, I've got a I've got a trained pipe rest that's that's pewter that's styled in a similar fashion. I almost wonder if that came from the tinder box when it was new. My wife bought it for me for oh, it was either Christmas or my birthday. I forget which, but I use it all the time. There's your wine rack. And here we go, various uh, accessories. You got your reamer and pipe polishing cloths, pipe sweetener, a tinder box belt buckle, which uh, would have been it's made out of brass. Well, antique brass finish. Close enough, five dollars. But uh, yeah. So there is the 1976 catalog. I hope you enjoyed looking at it as much as I did and we're going to we're going to come back. We're going to do more catalogs, but uh hopefully uh this this kind of wet everybody's palate on it. And, well, I've seen some real special stuff in the other other catalogs. So stay tuned. I'm the Nobleman Piper. Thanks for joining me today. We'll see you later.